Hey guys, this is Mark Yu here and welcome back to my channel. Finally, OPPO top the line flagship, which is powered by Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chipset, the Find X5 Pro has standard Malaysia. This is my very first OPPO flagship and to be honest, I really have high expectation on this phone. I've been using this phone for more than 2 days already, so this video will be my initial impression on this piece. So let's get started guys. Let's check it out what's in the box, shall we? There's a SIM jacket in the box, some paperwork, a premium service card, which there's a QR code that you can scan, a very nice TPU case, Type-C to USB-A cable, lastly, 80 watt SuperVOOC charger, 3 pin, which enable you to charge the phone from 0 to 50% in 12 minutes. It's insane guys. I'm holding the white color bag which is made of ceramic and you can have the black color option if you like. And the feel in the hand is different from the typical glass used on other phones. It feels premium of course and this white one is also less prone to fingerprint smudges. But it can be a bit slippery sometimes. So my advice is to handle with care or slide with the included TPU case for a better grip. Still look awesome right? With the case. The back of the phone is slightly curved with the camera bump completely flush into the phone back cover making it a unique unibody design and there's no sharp feeling swiping my fingers from the body to the camera bump it's smooth and the camera bump also protrudes just slightly from the body so good job Oppo the Find X5 Pro is quite thin at 8.5 mm thickness and slightly at the heavier side at 218 gram. Something worth mentioning is that this phone still retains last year IP68 water and dust resistant feature. Looking front, there's a 6.7 inch huge AMOLED display with 1440p WQHD Plus resolution. I would say that this is one of the best AMOLED display I've seen so far this year. Vibrant colors deep blacks. The screen is also LTPO AMOLED display that supports variable refresh rate from 1Hz to a maximum of 120Hz refresh rate depending on what you do with the phone in order to save more battery during your usage. Nice. On paper, the spec of the rear cameras really blow me away. Triple cameras where the main shooter and the ultra wide lens both also 15 megapixel, and both also using Sony IMX 766 sensors which I really begin to love in some of the phones I've used this year. It's awesome. And there's a 30 megapixel telephoto lens with 2 times optical zoom. And if you look closer, it's written here the phone is powered by Mari Silicon, the neural processing unit MPU, which enables this Find X5 Pro to take clear 4K night video to the next level. Hasselblad technology in the other hand is incorporated into the Pro mode, which gives you natural color calibration when taking photos. So I will share with you guys my photo and video recording in my full review soon. If you go to about phone, the Find X5 Pro has 256GB of internal storage and 12GB of RAM. But you can extend it virtually up to 7GB. So you have 12 plus 7, 19. And it's running on the latest 12.1 ColorOS version which is based on the latest Android 12. Lastly is the dual stereo speakers and they are powered by Dolby Atmos. So let's check it out, shall we? So there you go guys, my hands-on experience on the latest OPPO Find X5 Pro. I'll be using this phone as my daily driver, and the full review will be out next week. Up until the time of shooting this video, I still don't have the official price for the Find X5 Pro yet in Malaysia, so stay tuned for further updates. Until then, take care and stay safe. Peace guys.